It's heavy, hot, and hectic. Sorry, I'm a little winded. <laughs> but there's nowhere Carl McBride would rather be. But it's awesome. I love it. Love every minute of it. Carl is a volunteer firefighter in the small town of Garland, Utah. 21 people make up this force, including two women. A lot of people think that women can't do things, so I like to prove that I can. Timory Phillips puts in about five hours a week. Like everyone else, she also has a full-time job and a life outside of this. How do you get people to commit? to it, doing this. Yeah, it's hard. Steve Harrington is the chief. Do you have enough volunteer firefighters on staff right now? No, far from it. How many do you need? Probably triple what we have. But it's tough recruiting. Even though firefighters here get one check a year for the calls they respond to, it's not a lot, and the time commitment can be taxing. We're in a recruitment mode 24-7, 365. Steve Hirsch is chairman of the National Volunteer Fire Council and a volunteer firefighter himself in Kansas. When you say recruit, who, who are you looking for generally? I don't care what color they are, what gender they are. I just need somebody who can perform, who really wants to make a difference in the lives of their neighbors. Nationwide, the number of volunteer firefighters hit a low in 2018. This as the number of calls for help has risen. Volunteers respond not just to traditional house fires, but also medical calls. And in the summer, we do a ton of wildfires. This year is especially concerning with much of the West in a drought. Are you worried about the few months ahead? Very much so. We're expecting it to be probably not the best of seasons. So we're preparing kind of for the worst, I guess you could say. Hence the constant need for more people, not just in wildfire season, but year round. Should cities like this have a fully funded paid staff versus volunteer? Probably, at some point you have to go to that. It just depends on what taxpayers want, you know, for their cities. Whatever the future of volunteer firefighting, Carl knows there's a need now, and he's happy to help fill it. I love it. Love serving the community, love serving people.